Okay, the challenge is to shim this gearbox with under 12 minutes. Bevel's pinion included. We all see we see the preparation here. Cut down, cut open for the beveled pinion. Uh, everything is pre-prepared. Uh, I don't know what the motor height is. I don't know how many shims need to go on the gears. I do know the gears can rotate, so I do know that this is shimmable. Um, questionable area is here because of the thickness. I won't be able to see through with a flashlight, so uh, I will have to do a different method for that. <clears throat> uh, um, warpness, if the shell is warped, could stop me, but uh, we're going to see uh, how well I go with this. So we've got point ones. I've got about four or five, five of them. A bunch of point twos, a bunch of point threes, and a few point fives. And my estimate, what I generally start with, I want to go 0.2 on both of these sides. 0.2 here, 0.3, 0.5, and 0.1. And that's how I'm going to start. So, um, nothing else to say. I will check the, the piston. I will check the tablet plate. And I will screw the, the gearbox closed on the final uh, end result. So from this point, uh, go.
Jesus. Huh. Almost lost all my shoes. This place. Something's still tight. Kidding. Still. Actually, kill two birds with one stone here. Let's 
good. Nope, it's pinion's perfect, it looks like. Okay. Uh, what I want to do is push it down further. Which I think is too much. But just to say that I'm done. under 12 minutes. Here we go. One final check, but... It's uh, hard to hold that properly. I'm gonna say it's too tight. Back out here, one more here, and tighten it together to figure this out. If I tighten it together, I can't move on me and I can't change my mind. This has a lot of free movement. Come on. Now we have no free movement, so there's no way to move that. Okay. It's too tight. Most people that would be okay, but for me that's not. There we go, that's perfect. All right, finished from right here. Now to check my work. Hopefully that's under 12 minutes. See if I did this right. Not if I lose shims. Right, tight here. Tight here. And we should hear a very nice spin. There's no extra gap on anything. Okay. Oh, check above. Everything looks good except for one thing. 
and we'll see if it matters. Okay, so here's the spin. Just to show that it is spinning. Okay. Alright, uh, now to spin this way. What's questionable is not questionable. All right, everything is good. This is <clears throat> gonna depend on the time. So I have to check when I said it was done, uh, the time frame. but there's no more up and down movement on any of these gears. The spur gear, you could check it uh, with a screwdriver, but I used the method of hearing and uh, putting shims on top and then tightening with my finger uh, but yeah there's very very little movement I mean you're not gonna get another point one on that so um, that's basically as tight as it can go this clears this clears just to show with the gearbox tightened that it does clear the tap of plate I know because I saw plenty of room while I was building it right now putting it together, or whatever you want to call it. The hardest part about shimming was this area because you couldn't see anything. Looks like I cut my finger. Uh, you couldn't see... There's some shit on my finger. Okay, you couldn't see anything here, so it made it the uh, hardest part to do. Uh, you could definitely do it faster if you didn't have reinforcement in this area. Now. Uh, second hardest thing to do was that this was too loose, uh, but other than that, um, not having enough .1 shims, I was out at the end, and then uh, some of these shims, it's hard to tell if they're exactly .1 uh, on them, but from what I can tell from look, they were, I mean, you can't, I've done this so many times, you can't add another shim looking at it, even if I hold this really tight and check the flashlight. Yeah, you can't add another shim on that. So, if you were to add another shim, it would be too tight and it would not spin. So, that's the best you're going to get there. Um, just to demonstrate what the motor height was, because you can't see, but I could. And it looks correct from where it was. That's where. The motor height was so it was good to see through the window I mean that's what I could see okay um, that's really good if I got a perfect time we'll see what happens I have to check the video myself first